my dad always told people, and I adopted it later, we're not for people who need boots. We're for people who want boots. If you want something made, special, one-off just for you, we're the ones, but you gotta be patient. They say few things in life are guaranteed, and maybe that's true out in the wider world, but inside a nondescript storefront in southwest Houston, you can bet the farm on a pair of Wheeler boots. You're guaranteed to wait for them, guaranteed to be measured by owner Dave Wheeler himself, and guaranteed to look good. Is it true that people come in here and say, I want this, I want this toe, I want this heel, I want this, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But at some point you're going to say, well, I'm going to, you know, take all your ideas, but I'm going to make what I want. No. That's not true. I, I, no. I may suggest some changes. Strongly suggest? Very strongly. <laughs> like, those two colors do not go together. I don't want my name on an ugly boot. I want it to be something that I like, that I'm proud of. Since Dwight David Eisenhower was president, a Wheeler man has been stamping the family name into custom-made, one-of-a-kind boots. After nearly six decades, their reputation has grown into legend. Customers have waited up to three years for a pair. It all began with bootmaker Paul Wheeler, who made sure to pass down this discipline to his son. At age 12, I was informed that I was coming down to the shop. Uh, the boot shop was two years in at that point. And uh, my dad, who had been in shoe repair his whole life, grew up in that business, uh, did that when he was in World War II. His dad did it. His dad did it. Be honest, when you were you know, 12 years old and you were in here, love it or hate it? Hate it. Hated it. Hated it. Kicking and screaming coming in here because I wanted to be on the baseball field. I didn't want to be in here because the old man was, you know, of that era, they're hard on their kids. You know, they expect their kids to do certain things and do them right. They were on you from the minute you woke up till the minute you laid your head down. So You're right. That's yeah. the way it was. Yeah. 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 Strict, but successful. Dave learned a lifetime of trade skills as a teenager and joined the shop crew full-time in his 20s. Father and son rode the ups and downs of the business together through oil booms and busts, the urban cowboy craze, and eventually, Paul's retirement. He said, my hands hurt, my shoulders hurt. So he said, e just go on. So I said, all right but I was scared. I mean, he was always right there next to me and suddenly I'm the guy. And I was 34 at the time. And Dave has been the guy ever since, earning the ultimate recognition among bootmakers, inclusion in Tyler Beard's Book of the Best. So Tyler Beard comes out with these books and all of a sudden, you're bootmaking royalty. Yeah, because if you're in one of his books, you're something. And all the bootmakers want to be in his books, but they can't all be in there. But now it's time once again for Dave to follow his father's example. And a pair of Wheeler boots is about to become even more rare. But now it's, you know, it's time to kind of start wrapping it up. This is not the kind of business where you suddenly announce, I'm retiring next month. I know, because we had to think about how we were going to do that. Uh, because we didn't feel like we could just stop, you know, just put a sign on the door said that, saying that's it. You stopped taking new customers four years ago. Right. Yeah. For the last four years, Dave has been working 
on the last four years of Wheeler Boots. He almost has it all sewn up now, and the antique machines will soon fall silent in this storage shop. It's no small thing to take over your father's life's work, and after 60 years, Dave Wheeler can rest easy knowing that he filled some mighty big boots. One day he, did, he actually told me that. He said, uh, you know, I could never do all these things that you've done with the boot shop. And I, and you know, it's, it's hard to get compliments out of those people from that era, but I, I'll remember that forever. How'd that make you feel? Oh God, like it was all worth it. It was all worth it just to hear that.